the champs are already back to work. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they opened up and started training camp practices yesterday. We'll catch up with David Harrison and get the first news and insights from Bucks training camp. It's coming up, but let me first tell you about the best tasting protein bar available. Of course, I'm talking about Built Bar. Built Bar, the official protein bar of the U.S. track and field team. You're watching the Olympics. They cannot put anything in their body that they don't trust. Built Bar is the best tasting, and you're not cutting any corners nutrition-wise. Celebrate the freedom of choice, and Built Bar has so many delicious flavors. Coconut, Cherry Barcia, Raspberry, Mint Brownie, Double Chocolate, Salted Caramel, Strawberry, and Orange for the entire summer. It's a limited-time flavor. Cookies and cream and German chocolate. And like I said, not cutting any corners health-wise. 17 to 18 grams of muscle packing protein. Calories ranging between 130 and 180. 4 to 5 grams of sugar and 4 to 5 grams of net carbs. Built Bar. Go to the website, built.com. Use the promo code LOCK15 and you'll get 15% off your order. That's using the promo code LOCK15 for 15% off at built.com. That was the uh, video that sent the internet into a frenzy yesterday. It's the Locked On NFL podcast. Bo Brock, your Monday host. I'm joined by David Harrison of Locked On Bucks. And we could spend our entire time breaking down, you know, the validity, the fakeness, or the realness of that video. David, can you confirm, deny the validity of that uh, video starring Tom Brady? Uh, I can confirm that I assume that it's fake. It's a doctored video, but it's entertaining as, as hell, which is exactly what I think it was intended to do. So I think it hit its mark. Absolutely. It had shades of Chris Cooley catching a football through a wall. If we remember like the mm. NFL fantasy football commercials from a couple of years ago, it's exactly what it is. But people are just, uh, you know, there's no small debates on the internet right. any longer. You're either right or you're completely wrong. Uh, let's get into the fact that the world champs, uh, we went from talk. I talked to Peter Bukowski, who is a host of the team. That's probably the most dysfunction, dysfunctional franchise in the NFL. Now let's go to a team that can do no wrong in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What a week last week was for the Super Bowl champs, David, a visit to the white house. The team got iced up with their new rings. And then you've got Tom Brady dropping zings left and right. And to cap things off, the reigning champs got back to work yesterday on defending their title. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's been a whirlwind of a, of a time, and you know, I've been in contact with some of the media guys that that cover the team on a day to day basis, and some of the people inside the organization, and it's been just as crazy for everybody across across everything. But I mean, very excited to get back to work for one, to kind of put a nice little bow on the season that was, get their rings, kind of get all of that out of the way. Um, Sean Murphy Bunting showed up to training camp on the first day with a Super Bowl champions T shirt, and I expect that's probably the last time or one of the you know a handful of last times you're going to hear somebody on this roster uh, talk about or refer to the Super Bowl championship because now it's it's all about trying to get that next one. And we've already seen a handful of tweets and comments from coaches, uh, players, and everything else saying, you know, uh, they want they want to have another boat parade. They want to have another ring ceremony. So it's it's time to turn the page, look on to the next challenge ahead, which is the 2021 season, uh, an extra regular season game. And now, you know, the, the benefit of bringing everybody back is that you know you have a talented roster, a championship caliber roster, the downside of bringing everybody back is everybody knows who you are, what you're going to bring to the table, and they've got extra tape uh, to study against you. So uh, a very challenging season coming up in its own right. But, I mean, the team is in high spirits and, and looking ready to go. Does anybody have it better than the Bucks right now? I mean, it's hard to think that anybody does, honestly. I mean, you, you look kind of the top, you know, the top franchises, quote unquote, around around the NFL. You know, they're all happy and smiling and everybody's happy to be to be back at work. You know, even role players are taking less money to come back to play for the team. Guys who were uh, considered selfish in years past, Antonio Brown, maybe a little bit of Leonard Fournette are taking less money and, and le lesser roles uh, just to be back in the franchise. Meanwhile, you know. Uh, some of the great franchises out there. Green Bay Packers are obviously having problems, like you just mentioned. The New Orleans Saints, you know, what their what what does their future look like without Drew Brees? Even the even the Arizona Cardinals, who are a team that look like they're on the rise, all of a sudden Chandler Jones uh, isn't happy, and you know, I'm sure that's how all of a sudden. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then of course you saw the Deshaun Watts. So I mean, there's a lot of drama going around the league, and there always is. So when when you're a team 
uh, that can go to work and just focus on the task at hand. I think you have to feel blessed, and I'm sure that this this squad absolutely does. David Harrison, of course, Locked On Bucks. He joins us here on the Locked On NFL podcast. Follow him on Twitter at dharrison82. You you mentioned uh, Chandler Jones. I mean, he mm-hmm. played under BA for a couple seasons there in the desert. It, it seems like this team, when you're in a position like Tampa Bay is, would would they maybe look into acquiring a guy? I know they're strong at the pass rush, but would they turn their nose up at a guy like Chandler Jones? I mean, I think it's worth the conversation. You know, you look yeah. at you look at the situation. Shaq is, you know, more long term now. Obviously, they just drafted Joe Tryon. Uh, they have Anthony Nelson, who a lot of people have been really excited about, but I don't know that he's really ever going to hit, you know, the, the starter caliber edge rusher that a guy like Jason Pierre Paul is. And JPP is on his, you know, last couple of laps around the NFL. This could be his last year. Uh, altogether, if it's not, it might be his last year with the Bucks because he is on a he's on the final year of his contract. They've got a lot of cap movement that they they worked with this offseason. Who knows if they're going to be willing to do all that with that? So I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that it's going to happen, but I think uh, that if Arizona is is in the position where they're taking phone calls, and I know you know publicly they're saying that they want him, and they're keeping him, and all that stuff, but we all know that behind the scenes things are a little bit different. Uh, it, it wouldn't hurt anyway for Jason Light, and he's he loves playing the trade game. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Jason Light and, and, and the Cardinals have already been in conversations about what it would take, what they would want. And, I mean, I love JPP, but, I mean, if you, you know, if it's, if it takes, you know, JPP, Anthony Nelson, and, you know, a second or a third round pick, I mean, that's, I would, I would be, uh, I would be hard pressed to think the Buccaneers don't at least consider it. Yeah. Bucks, uh, third team to open up training camp on Sunday as they prepare for the season opener, Thursday night football against the Dallas Cowboys. Everybody mm-hmm. full go at practice yesterday? Uh, not quite. So Jason or uh, uh, Jordan Whitehead is uh, on the on the COVID reserve list. He actually wasn't at the ring ceremony either. That's kind of how the whole thing kind of first came up. Is there were people FaceTiming with him uh, or Instagram living with him? Something he was on video call during the ring ceremony. So he had to unfortunately had to watch it from a distance, and he's uh, still on that list. So you know it doesn't doesn't appear that he's sick. I don't have any confirmation on whether he has it or it was just a contact tracing type of situation. But whatever it is, he's starting training camp on the reserve list. Cameron Brait uh, starting off camp on the pup list, but that that sh- he should be fine. He should be good to go. There's a couple other players uh, that are also starting on that list, but ultimately nobody seems to be too worried about much of it, much of any of it. Uh, so you know, very early in camp, more more cautionary than anything, I think. A notable tardy, though. Yeah, yeah. A B showing up late. Uh, you know, hey, A B's gonna A B, but you know what? He showed up. He showed up right, and he showed up without lawyers. So I mean, that's what else can you ask we- for? I, I guess that's uh yeah that's a way to look at the glass half full. I, I mean from what I remember covering Bruce Arian Cardinals teams was their biggest bugaboo as far as training camp this time of year, no fighting. Mm-hmm. That's it. Like as long as you come up, you go, you come to work and and you get it done. Albeit you, I'm sure they're not happy that he was late. They right. know that Antonio Brown's going to be prepared to play. You know September 9th against the Dallas Cowboys. That's all they're worried about. David Harrison, make sure you're following along on Twitter at David Harrison82. And of course, listening to him and James Yarko on a daily basis, locked on Bucks. David, thank you so much, man. Thank you, Bo.